A great looking start to our Sunday morning around Southern Colorado. Here's the view from our Mugabug camera, Highway 24 in Peterson Road. 44 degrees right now. Winds out of the north northwest at a light five mile per hour clip. And we're seeing very nice driving conditions on the highways and byways all around the region. See some cars passing by on 24 as they head into town from places like Lyman and also Falcon and as well as Calham. And there's Pikes Peak off in the distance, also looking pretty nice this morning. By the time we finish it off, we'll top out at 64 in the spring. It's a beautiful day. 70 in Canyon City and also Pueblo. 67 in Walsenburg down in Wareford Hill County. 61 in Alamosa. 63 at Salida. 45 at Leadville. 66 in Denver. Lower to middle 70s out in the plains. 76 your high today in Lamar. Zooming out now to the western view to give you an idea of what's been happening over the last few hours. Skyscan satellite and radar doesn't really show a whole bunch right now as high pressure continues to be in charge of our weather sitting over western Colorado. That's not an unusual place for high pressure to sit this time of the year. But there is another storm system which is going to push well to our north. This one here will give some snow to the northeastern states later on this afternoon, sort of a clipper type system. This one here, meanwhile, is our next storm system, the one that will come on shore as we go through the next couple of days. You see your skycast as we go through our Monday morning into our Monday afternoon is going to call for our high pressure center to begin to slide to the southeast ever so slightly. That'll raise our wind up a little bit when it combines with our low pressure centers that are sitting off to our northeast and the other one that's approaching from the northwest. And this also means a chance for some rain and snow is back in the forecast as this low pressure center eventually makes its way through the region. By Monday, 3 o'clock, we have a warm front that's getting ready to overspread the state. That'll really drive our temperatures up. But as we talked about, all also drive up our wind slightly as we go through our early Tuesday morning into our Tuesday afternoon. Here comes that low pressure center, that front just making its way into the state. This will give us a chance for some rain and snow, mainly north of I-70, west of I-25. But that eventually spreads its way throughout the rest of the region, especially in the northern portions as we go through in the afternoon on Tuesday and into our evening. That's reflected in the seven-day forecast, too. High temperatures sitting in the lower to middle 60s. And then comes that 20% chance for the rain and snow with that next system that I was showing you a second ago. Temperatures drop back a shade behind the system. Not very much, though. Still 61 on Wednesday. Then it's mid to upper 60s that takes us through the rest of the forecast. Lows are sitting in the 30s and 40s. Same lows in Pueblo as we're going to see in the springs. High temperatures, though, are in the lower 70s for one, two, three days running. And then it's upper 60s on Wednesday behind that next system. It doesn't have any moisture or enough moisture to produce very many showers in Pueblo, but it will drop our temperatures by about four degrees. Readings are then in the lower 70s again as we end off the forecast. In Canyon City, upper 60s and lower 70s at first, then it's middle 60s on Wednesday. Temperatures then rise up into the upper 60s and lower 70s as we end things off Thursday through Saturday. In Teller County, there's that chance for rain and snow for us as well, but the first three days of the forecast in general are very nice. We're going to see high temperatures pushing 60 on Monday. They'll be still sitting in the middle 50s, even after that next system comes through. We talked about how it doesn't have a huge amount of cold air behind it, and that's why those temperatures don't fall off very much. Only 4 degrees in Teller County like it will be in Pueblo. Between Tuesday and Wednesday, lows are sitting in the 20s and 30s. Even in Teller County, this forecast here, beautiful as it will be for Ooh. the entire region this afternoon. Winds are up just a shade, mm -hmm. but overall very nice. Weather. A round of applause for Jay. Let's well. give it up because <laughs> a gorgeous weekend for us to get outside. Well, it certainly has <laughs> been. Hopefully you can take advantage of it this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Run the incline. Ooh, yeah, no, not me. Not me. Maybe you can do that, Jay. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> All right, Jay.